Welcome everybody to the Rippin' Strips podcast, the podcast where we chill. Yeah. What up, corn dog? Not much, L dog. What's up with you? Yeah, we kind of check in with each other, shoot the breeze. So sit back, relax, and have a light enjoyment of a great podcast. <laughs> well, that was a terrible <laughs> sentence, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't enjoy it lightly. Enjoy it fully. It, feel it in your loins. But uh, it's light. But it's light. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, now on to the big news story that happened since our last meeting. What's that? You you didn't hear? No. Heathcliff? No, the big news. What's the what national is, news? What? Just get out of it. Take tell us already. That truck full of uh, tangy barbecue sauce toppled over in North Carolina. Oh no! This is gonna cause prices it, to rise like crazy. Yeah, and it wasn't a sweet situation or savory. No, <laughs> no spicy a little bit. Actually, it was both in all three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, Donald Trump got shot at. Welcome to the yeah. show, everybody. <laughs> well, yeah. No, we're actually recording this before Donald Trump is gets shot at. Um, this is Friday. Oh. <laughs> 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 And way before Biden shits his pants live on television during a uh, convention, uh, during when he actually, when he brings back The Apprentice starring Biden and guess who wins? AOC. You're, anyway. <laughs> You're uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> anyway. Whose impression is better? You decide. Anyway, um, Biden should drop out. Trump should drop out. Um, And we should just give up on having presidents for the rest of our lives. I'm down with that for sure. But uh, yeah, I was kind of I jokingly accidentally led us into this serious topic. (laughs) But uh, I think I'm voting for Cornell West. (laughs) <laughs> hey, I, I know that sounds silly to a lot of people, but I agree with everything he says when I see him on TV. <laughs> yeah, Cornel I mean, West is he's weird and f- funny looking, but and he, he, he's a solid dude. He's a solid dude. He's a good guy. He's got his head on his shoulders. He's got an awesome name. Um, I would definitely vote for him as well. Um, except for I already sent in my mail-in ballot extra extra early this year even before i received a mail-in ballot in the in the mail i just wrote to the i put on an envelope white house and inside i wrote rfk jr and oh no and put it in the mail <laughs> put it in the mail is it to white is that, house is that before we gave him the brain worm i mean before he got that brain worm <laughs> oh my god we're letting it all out today oh no <laughs> oh my god yeah, a lot of people will say we, we prophesized a lot of the stuff that's been happening now based on our prior episodes, you know, when we've read Heathcliff and, and it's um, true, yeah. <laughs> you know, all the other strips. The Surfing Mummy, there's a lot of subtext. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say we didn't. I will. We didn't. <laughs> there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. In this country, um, the barbecue sauce and a bunch of other stories. Yeah, and less important other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, you ruined my joke by not having any. Were you fucking with me or did it not occur? I was meaning the Trump thing. Of course, I knew what you were talking about. (laughs) I don't think you did. Why? Of course I did. I don't think you're that good of an actor. Whoa, hey, wait a second. Why? Why is it turning into a slam on my acting skills? Well, you suck at acting. I don't know. <laughs> well, because I just did a great job at acting and blew you away. And you Didn't enjoyed you get... it deep in your loins. <laughs> That's not <laughs> acting. <laughs> um, is that what you learn at Juilliard? <laughs> yeah, to make the audience feel... Enjoy. I was going to say feel you in your loins. And that felt didn't, even great. I didn't feel it in my loins. 
<laughs> Are loins? What is a loin exactly? I know it's a cut of meat. So you can have a sirloin. Sirloin. That's a gentleman's loin. No, nope, but, but it comes from a female cow. Hmm. I think one of your balls is a loin, your other ball is a loin, and your penis is the third loin. Your loins. <laughs> so there's three loins. And the women have loins, too, and theirs is the... One fallopian tube, the other fallopian tube, and the clit. The clit. <laughs> I was going to say one lip, the other lip, and the clit. Oh, that makes more I sense. I don't think the fallopian tube is a, <laughs> is a loin. Is a loin. Yeah, you're right. That's a totally different part. If you part. feel something in your fallopian tube while watching <laughs> Cornell act, I... Yeah, go get See it a checked doctor. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you feel something in your right or left lip, then I'm doing a good job. Don't Hopefully in both. Yep. Right, a right and left lip. <laughs> and that feeling is an itch, by the way. Yes. And if you're listening to this, and your one loin, uh, for if you're a man, and one loin is like th- is throbbing in pain not in pleasure that's probably not my acting or our podcast as well that's something you should probably see a doctor about yeah and if you feel a lot if you have a lumpy loin go to the doctor that is true yeah yeah unless you have a prince albert on your third loin then that lump is fine that's coming that's when the ring comes out of the pee hole right and why is it called a prince albert I don't know. I thought it was through the shaft all the way through, but that doesn't sound like that doesn't sound yeah, but, right. But through, but it then out it the comes out the pee hole. I think. Not through the top. It doesn't go from the bottom, uh, top to the bottom. That's That'd what I a, mean. But not, no, because the pee hole is in your the penis. middle. Your, your penis it's isn't like, like it's a like blow that, hole. I thought. That's right. a Prince Albert. This is not. I don't Whoa, know if that's can... not even a thing. That's like a septum piercing for your penis. I don't think they go through the side. I thought that they went straight up. Like, here's your penis. And it went. Oh, but not out the pee hole. But I feel like I've seen seen out. I feel like I've seen out the pee hole in reality. I don't know if I've seen not out the pee hole. Where'd you see out the pee hole? Every time I look down to go pee, baby. Oh, you got one. (laughs) And who's Prince Albert? I assume it's a British (laughs) prince or something. Yeah. Maybe he looked like a penis. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe he had his relatives um, and what they all look like. Maybe he got a fishing hook stuck in his dick. Maybe. Because, you know, those princes loved fishing. Yeah. (laughs) Fishing in the nude. They're all doing the fly fishing. Uh, Fly fishing's fun. Never been. Well, you should. You absolutely should. Um, anyone out there, I just want to give you a brief message. If you are thinking of assassinating anybody, don't do it. Not a good idea. If you're thinking of assassinating someone, you probably need help. Not with the assassination, but maybe a good friend to talk to or a shoulder to cry on or something like that. Um... You know, uh, no matter what we all think about Trump, I think we can all agree that um, you you shouldn't try and assassinate him. (laughs) Agreed. Sorry to get so political, but um, even if you have a friend, you're like, you know what? That friend is kind of annoying. My roommate ate the last Uncrustable um, or something of that nature. Assassination is never the answer. Well, it's the last resort when it, uncrustables are involved. Yeah. All right. That's, Very last resort. Okay. It is acceptable <laughs> when it involves uncrustables, but only as a very last resort. You have a lot of other things to try first. Confront them. Piss in their well, soda. If there's maybe another box of uncrustables, maybe it's not necessary. Right. You know, but if it's the last one. I don't know. If it's the last one and they don't have a soda that you can piss in, then, yeah, you're only left one option. Yep. (laughs) All right. So it's only acceptable in one way. In one instance. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I think that covers about all the breaking news topics. I think so. Yeah. So, uh, what's your IQ? Do you have? I don't do you know. know. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I took the test and they said they couldn't count that high. Oh shit! Mensa, I, Mensa the, was giving the tests and they go, "Sorry, we don't, we can't count at that high." We've never seen this before. <laughs> yeah, Are the, you human? they they submitted my answers like a scantron into the scantron reader thing, and the thing started smoking and shaking and. It, Exploded. Yeah. Too many correct answers. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, I, I took I took a, an online test a long time ago, and I have a 133, which means I'm super smart. But obviously, everyone who takes it probably gets about that. Yeah. Because it seems believable, but it's like, you know, it's an online thing. So my brother, when he was younger, he was diagnosed with Asperger's. And this is after I moved out and I think I already moved to L.A. But at some point, my parents were discovering this. He was like 18 or 20 or something like that. But they at some point, he took an IQ test. And my dad was like, your brother has an extremely high IQ. It's surprising. But, you know, a lot of people with Asperger's have that. And you talk to them and you're like, oh, this person's an idiot. But they're actually really smart. They just yeah. can't express themselves. Sure. Over a decade goes by. I'm thinking my brother's a secret genius. And this guy is stupid, by the way. <laughs> and I've come to find out it was an online test. And I took the same test. And I'm a genius, too. According What to number that. did he get? Do you know? 130-something or 140. I think he outscored me. But wow. <laughs> but it yeah. sounds like we took a similar thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I thought... He got diagnosed by a doctor, so I was like, oh, you guys must have gone to, like, a, an official thing. Right. I'm thinking a doctor does that. I don't even know. But it's Proves I'm not 133, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's not, that doesn't prove anything. We, I think that means we need to take the same online test and see who's more of, got a higher IQ. I would definitely be down to do that, but we should take a real IQ. I want to know my real IQ. What about... Um, I mean, you know, like they say IQ tests aren't a good judge of your intelligence. People with low IQs say that. <laughs> yeah. I, it's I an mean, intelligent qu quotient. It's exactly made to measure your intelligence. But I'll be the judge, though, like because when I see the test, it might ask a question like define funk versus jazz. And it's like, well, that doesn't mean you're intelligent. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You just read my hat. I know. <laughs> yeah, but it, but if it says connect these triangles in a way and I can do it faster than another person, then I would accept at least that measures something. You'll accept it as long as you're better than other people. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I mean. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean, there's things you can measure that a baby could do or whatever. But right. it still is like figure this, solve this puzzle or something. But if right. it's just a trivia question, then yeah, I agree. It doesn't prove much of anything. But if it's the speed, but you don't. It, what if you're really, really smart but slow? It takes you a long time to be smart. I actually suspect that's me. I I do deep down think I'm smart, but I'm also insecure because I think I'm pretty slow. <laughs> yeah. Like when I'm, people are talking about smart stuff. I have a. Like it takes a while to catch up, but eventually I'm like. Oh, I actually, I know more than you, but <laughs> it took me a while to remember it. I, I think I'm smart too. I think it's good that I think it's probably a good sign that we think we're smart. Um, because it's, it's one of those like kind of fake it till you make it type of things. Even if we're not smart. Right. Yeah. You gotta be confident. At least we're confident. If you think you're stupid, you know, then you're only hurting yourself. Yeah. You're only making yourself even seem stupider. Um, or I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's not to get too smart in here, but real smart people know what they don't know. That's true. I had a big, real, <laughs> this is real light. 
I had a big religion debate. Well, there was a long drive from Cragen's to the airport the other week when I was on that vacation. So I was talking to my dad about religion because he's super religious and I'm not. Yeah. And that was my whole point is like, well, I'm smart enough to know what I don't know. Oh, yeah. And he's like, what? Oh, God. Now, you, <laughs> now your dad's having a crisis because everything he thought he knew about. Yeah, he's like, wait a minute. The earth and oh, no. life on earth and afterlife is crumbling right before his eyes. Yeah, well, that was another part of the conversation was like, because uh, my aunt was like, you should go find, uh, what was it? Not Episcopal. Uh, Presbyterian? Uh, Catholic. No, no, no. Uh, um, Lutheran. Lutheran. Oh, you've got to go find a nice Lutheran church. It's called, and I might be getting this wrong. It's, look it up. It's Lutheran Dells. It's like some specific sect. And I was just like, I'm not going to do that. And or should I say her name? I don't know. Is this the banana boat one? Okay. Of course cool. it is. Yeah, Cause yeah. she doesn't, she never says anything appropriate ever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're all having a bonfire and hanging out and she decides to talk to me. No pressure. She kept saying no pressure. I'm like, this is pressure. Like yeah. I'm calling you out. I'm telling you, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Cause I like at work with all these extra actors, like they're always like, Oh, you got to watch this video. And it's like, I'm not going to, <laughs> I, I just started telling people that they're like, you got to check out this movie. It's like, I'm, I won't, it does sound interesting. I'm not going to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. everyone tells that to each other. Yeah. But yeah, you got to go to this church. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. Especially not a Lutheran church. I was, you know, I, I didn't, and she was like, what, you, you, you grew up Baptist? And I was like, well, we went to a Baptist church. I mean, I, we were just like uh, Protestant. And she was like, oh, no, no, no. Martin Luther was the first Protestant. Yeah, Lutheran. Right. I mean, they're right. So she she's trying to tell me how to live my life. And she doesn't even know that. Ah. What so, that shit is so annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so interesting how different there's so many different sects, sexes of Christianity. Um, yeah. You know, I don't even understand why. Because uh, it's all based on one book. The, well, the Catholic Church has different books, like two extra books in it, which is weird. But also, before the printing press, no one had a Bible except the priests. So they kind of made up, filled in the blanks. Like, oh, I guess you guys should uh, uh, tell your sins to us. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't pray on your own. Tell it to us. You know, and little things like that. And all your money that you give to the church goes to, like, a bigger church, and it goes up. Like, that's all, or at least what the Protestants think, is that was all greedily you know, decided on at outside of the Bible because they hid the real Bible from us. And now Protestants are like, Oh no, we live by the real Bible, but They're just making the sure Bible was just written by cavemen, you know, thousands of years ago. No offense. Not the King James <laughs> Bible. Is it the King James Bible? Cause he, that's just written in old English. They all kind of, but they all basically say the same thing. That just says, but he translated it and he put a bunch of shit that he wanted in it too. Right? Like, James is all James's are a badass and right. <laughs> I that could be a possible historical story I didn't hear about. I don't know if you made that up or uh, that was just something that was in my brain that I felt like was con was common knowledge that we all knew. Um, so could it be re could it be completely made up? Yeah, it only, probably is. I only got a one thirty three IQ, so yeah, I can't know. Yeah, it all. and I don't even know mine. The yeah. Mensa's getting back to me. They're still they're using a calculator and then it said high, high uh, calculus and trigonometry that they need to use to figure out um, a number that high. It's the closest to infinity they've ever gotten. They said, Damn. um, yeah, but, um, you know, it's a shame cause it's probably something I could figure out if they let me see the numbers, but they don't want me to, to be cheating or anything. So yeah, it's like bias, right? Yeah. Exactly. Lame. Exactly. Um, have you seen like the ads for for like games on your phone or stuff like that? It'll be like, 
Einstein could never figure this puzzle out. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, untangle the yarn. <laughs> it's like, what? Einstein looked at problems untangling yarn? <laughs> this, this problem will make you have a higher IQ than Einstein, which key unlocks the lion from the cage. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Why? Help the king jump over the lava pit. <laughs> Why? What's king doing down there? He's That's fully dressed. dressed. He's fully dressed for an occasion. He's got his <laughs> crown on. What's he doing in the dungeon? It's King James. He's got it. I got the Bible here. Oh, no. <laughs> lava. <laughs> uh, that's where the real smarts are. That's where the real geniuses are. They're cracking those puzzles open. Can you unscramble this word that's three letters long? Einstein and Stephen Hawking tried and they never got anywhere any gambling thing i'm half i do enjoy doing it sometimes but part of me just wants to fuck with it and test it and yeah, like a I claw machine you just go down up and down and race your whole quarters and go haha fucked with you wait what a, a claw what? machine oh yeah yeah <laughs> no but uh slots oh dude one time i was in vegas on a penny slot and i made two hundred dollars off of five dollars that's and I it. kept going and, and lost all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a friend in Dr uh, Josh and Trotsky. He won the million dollars off a of penny slot. I didn't know that. Big Bang Theory penny slots. Yeah. When? I don't know. Eight what years ago, nine theory. years ago. Like right after he was on The Price is Right? Mm hmm. What's going on? Does he have like a four leaf clover in his pocket? What's going on? <laughs> I do not know. Oh, he's one of those secret geniuses who's an idiot. That's it. That's it. He's a smart guy. Fucking skateboarding rabbi. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So just a quick uh, announcement. We are doing this. We are doing this podcast before... RFK Jr. went to uh, Knott's Berry's Farm, Soak City, and got lost his swimsuit going down the super slide. So sorry if that breaking news is in and out by the time this has been released. We are recording this before it happens, so um, we are not able to comment on that at this time. We are just some prophets um, who are... <clears throat> Speaking about our prophecies, believe them or not, um, which, speaking of, shall we do some Ripley's Believe It or Not? Yes. Let's do it. And sorry, RFK, everyone saw your horribly tiny balls and penis. Cause he's your horribly <laughs> twisted loins. I assume he's at least done steroids if he's not on steroids right whoa doesn't he have that look not that he's jet super jack but he is kind of fit but he also like is veiny and if you're anti-vax but pro steroids that's a wild take oh shit i didn't even think about that i just got an alert on my phone president biden just tested positive for the covid virus oh really yeah because that doesn't sound very is that a real thing? <laughs> That's a real thing. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, I he's don't got COVID. Support him, but I don't want him to. That sucks. That's scary because he's so old. He's so I actually do feel like that's the first time maybe I've ever felt bad for him. <laughs> I don't yeah. want him to be sick like that because my mom is old and she. Oh, that's bad for old people. Well, what does she have a party at the White House coming up? No, I'm just saying it'll he'll go through what she went through. Oh my god. He's gonna lose his mind even more. <laughs> Dude, no, I'm not joking. That's no, I crazy. know, but everyone's talking about his brain fog and his poor mental performance and COVID gives you brain fog. Dude, I mean it with my it, I know people who went through the brain fog and it's creepy. It's nuts. I mean, they really don't know what's going on. Yeah. Like he He's like me. He just kind of trails off and gets distracted. He probably has ADD. I don't know. <laughs> probably he's hitting he that. He should have said much. that. Maybe he should have said, "Oh, I have ADD. I just I get distracted, but it helps me be creative." That's what he should have said. <laughs> Maybe he 
is using COVID as an excuse to drop out of the race and to let RFK Jr. take his place. <laughs> the obvious choice. Boo. <laughs> Just imagine if it was RFK, no, not vaccinated, got, grow, got COVID. Well, maybe and you and I disagree. I'm, vac- I'm fully vaccinated, and, I su- and you should be- get vaccines. But if you don't want to, in my opinion, that's your prerogative, and I don't give a shit. Yeah. And I, I agree I with RFK on at least that point. I think, I think everyone, if, no one's saying mandatory vaccinations. You just can't do shit if you don't have it. I mean, well, frankly, that's what I agree with. But, yeah, peop- some people do, did believe Probably not anymore, but some people did believe in mandatory. Hold, hold everyone down and, and give them the jab. Give them that, that bio weapon that destroys their loins inside and out. It starts on your right. <laughs> You're obsessed with loins. It starts, goes to your left, and then it goes to the third loin, your shaft. It starts at the Prince Albert, works its way back into your body. I think you got a different disease. <laughs> I don't think that was COVID. And for women, it's even worse. <laughs> the left lip starts looking a little funny. You, and then you got all of COVID. Sudden, <laughs> Not COVID. All of a sudden, your right lip develops a wicked cough. And next thing you know, <laughs> <laughs> next thing you know, <coughs> <laughs> there goes the clitoris. Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Huh. RFK, what a character. Oh, no, we got the wrong mics. What do you mean? That one's a little louder for my quiet voice. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Well, let's go into Ripley's Believe It or Not. I got two because there's two pretty good ones, actually. Maybe I should have saved one for another time. But um, uh, this one, okay, I'll start with this one. This one's all snake related they all involve snakes is there a snake holiday coming up um i don't know what saint patrick's day right that's the only one there is but that already happened and that's kind of an anti-snake holiday not a pro snake holiday Mm. pro snake holiday feels like um saint snakey there we go. St. Snakey Day. It's newer. All right. Here's fact number one. Of six. So a special bonus episode for you guys. You're getting six fucking facts. Whoa. Can you handle it? When threatened, hognose snakes. Great name. Hognose snakes will mimic other snakes, such as a cobra, by flattening themselves and hissing. That one sucks. Okay. I believe it. Yeah. So yeah. That's no, no shit. Doesn't every animal that's actually not a predator do some stupid shit like that to look like a predator? Uh-oh. Here comes another one, actually. I this to look like a cobra on the street all the time. <laughs> I, um, cobra. Oh, yeah. That's G.I. Joe. Cobra! Okay. Cobra Commander. Um, all right. The Atlas moth, as a deterrent to predators, has wings that resemble two snakes on its back. That's cool. Oh, that's weird. It really does. Yeah, in this drawing. <laughs> Freaky. I don't know if you can see that there. That's pretty cool, you got to say. Um, shout out to that moth. I don't know. You know, if it's like some... Some predators like, oh, I'll eat that moth if there's one snake. Oh, two snakes. I'm out of here. Maybe it's an AI moth. You mm. just didn't really know what to do. The uh, make me a scary moth, and that's what ha- that's what it came up with. Yeah. God, your AI is terrible. All right. Um. And God, I just want to thank you, Jesus, Lord, our Savior, for getting Trump's head out of the way of that bullet. God damn. Thank you, angels, for your good deed and for getting RFK Jr. swimsuit back on after that incident at Soak City. You got that swimsuit right all over his twisted cock and balls so fast. 
I just want to thank that angel. That angel did some dirty work down there, but I God, you did even worse on his poor loins. Okay, fact number three. The fossil of a snake that lived 47 million years ago in western India indicates it was as long as a school bus and weighed up to 2,000 pounds. Hell yeah, now that's a... Do you believe it or not? Right? Oh, cool illustration. It's wrapped around a bus. Yeah, that's very cool. They gave it... They gave it, like teeth which i don't think is real i don't know if snakes have oh teeth that's like funny that, but it's still sick wow I mean, that's a tattoo if i ever saw one <laughs> those teeth are pretty ridiculous if you're a bus driver that'd be a sick tattoo to have actually yeah right no joke <laughs> i don't have any tattoos that would be the one i would get if i was a bus driver <laughs> I don't think it would make kids feel safe about getting on the bus with you, but it is fucking cool. It is fucking cool. Call me Saint Snakey. <laughs> My all Welcome in to the first day of school. <laughs> um, okay. Here's the next three. These ones are also really cool. Again, kind of one dud, which I'll read right now. Inch Gnome Island is a small island in Scotland that's been mysteriously covered in gnomes since 2010. Garden gnomes? Mm-hmm. Not real-life gnomes, I don't think. <laughs> well, I believe that, I guess. Yeah, I know. Pretty believable. Who gives a shit? Okay. The Mad Hatterpillar, a caterpillar found in New Zealand and Australia, wears a stack of its molted heads like a hat. Whoa. That's pretty sick, right? That's metal. Right? That's really cool. It's basically wearing its, its peeled off heads. Not basically. Actually, that's exactly what's happening. It's yeah. wearing, wearing its peeled off heads on top of its head. Badass. Very metal. Um, that's my, another, my next tattoo. If I was a head transplant surgeon, I'd get that. <laughs> 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 okay, and lastly, this one's interesting. Early folklore refers to leprechauns as underwater creatures. Whoa, never knew that. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's got a snorkeling Irishman. Yeah, that one's just fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I should know that about my heritage. Oh, well. Yeah, you're... You, you're, you're derived from leprechauns. Yep. From underwater leprechauns. It's pretty cool. I don't know how that would have come about, why they were underwater. Mermaids seem like much better. Um, at least they're half fish. A little tiny leprechaun swimming around with a pot of gold underwater doesn't make much sense. I mean, gold's heavy. I mean, I assume they mated with the uh, mermaids. Oh, so, and then they're eventually they're like these mermaids are fucking gold diggers. Let's get out of here. That makes sense. Go up now, on land. That makes sense to me. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and also, what a what a come up for those leprechauns for to be able to score with mermaids. Yet they are rich, so I guess it does make sense. Yeah. You know, we all know how how shallow mermaids are. All they care about is getting a uh, new um getting the latest shell bra yeah there we go thank you thank you thank you thank you getting the latest shell bra or or finding another <laughs> fork right <laughs> <laughs> to comb their hair yeah <laughs> oh god i think um what do you think about the black little mermaid I didn't see it. She should be, Biden should drop out of the race and get the Black Little Mermaid to take his place. Was it played by uh, the vice president? Kamala? Ka Kamala? Kamala? Oh, damn it. You were right. Kamala. <laughs> Kamala Malama. Yes. Kamala. No, she did not play the new Black Little Mermaid. Uh, she played the... She'd Wonderful be a great vice president. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll, be, I'll shut my mouth then. <laughs> She'd be a great what? Ursula. 
<laughs> She's got a great evil laugh. I think she would, but I don't think Ursula loves cops as much as Kamala does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she would use the police to get her way. <laughs> yeah, get Ariel arrested and given the uh, election. You should chair. be in school. Your parents are both under arrest. <gasps> what do you think, Ariel? You just <laughs> fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Uh, but at least it's not be. She's better than the legend of JD Vance. I still know nothing about him other than he was a Marine. Get it like legend of bagger Vance though. Oh, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right on. <laughs> oh man. I'm thick. <laughs> You're slow, but once you catch up, you know more about it than I do. Tell me all about the Legend of Bagger Vance, Logan. <laughs> well, is it about a ne- magical Negro that helped the guy play g- golf? <laughs> Whoa, and, I don't think uh, you can say that. He helped a guy play a sport that... <laughs> Thank you, that's you swing, much better. <laughs> you swing a club and hit a ball. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I had a great thing to bring up earlier, like, Two minutes ago, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Oh, it's okay. It's so funny. I had a great thing to bring up, too, about the Black Little Mermaid running for president. I would vote for her, no question, and that would really make steam shoot out of uh, these uh, MAGA people's ears if the Black Little Mermaid then ran for president. After ruining the Little Mermaid, then she's going to ruin the White House? Well, did I thought... The mermaid looked stupid, but everybody said it was good. Really? People said it was good? I mean, I guess you did. I don't know. I never saw it. (laughs) I never saw it. Wait, someone did, though. Oh, maybe it was my cousins. I don't know. Yeah. People seem to like it. I thought the fish looked... The fish and the crab... Looked like real a real fish and a real crab. Yeah, I, I did thought, not There's like no that. way this is good. I did not like that. I agree. I made the same judgment. You can't have them look like real animals. They got to look like fun, cartoon, cute animals. Just real animals. Like, that's the whole problem with like that live-action Lion King. They all just look like... It looks like a nature doc, but it's the Lion King? No. Yeah. That's creepy. That's creepy. We want a cute little cuddly cartoon version. There's a storm... And I'm just picturing it in my head. Um, there's like a priest or something on the boat. And there's like a quick cut of the storm and the lightning. And they're trying to take down the sails. And then the, it zooms in on the priest's crotch. And the priest's uh, dick goes, rawr, 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 like really fast. Like spins around and then becomes a boner really fast. I never heard of that. And I think you made it up. I, why would I make that up? Because there is one where they're at the wedding and the preacher uh, looks like he has a boner, but one of the animators said that was just his knee because he's short and he's standing on like a box. No. So I knew that specific one, but I never... What you just described sounds completely mad. I, why would Did I it make, make a that noise? up? No, I don't think it made a noise. I, don't, I think that, maybe that would have been too much. It went in the circle? How many... Like yes. a helicopter. He helicoptered his dick and then it became erect. I guess maybe it was already erect and he was just helicoptering it for a second. And what, he's in like the back deep background or something? No, it's like a close up, but it's so fast. Is was he using it to like wind up the sail or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been okay. <laughs> well, that's not sexual. That's just using the tools you have available. Your loins, so to speak. <laughs> No, he was not using it to wind up the sail. It was just he got horny in the storm. I don't know. Watching the thunder clap made, <laughs> made him <laughs> horny. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. But it was my favorite one because the Lion King one is pretty whack. Again, I guess harder with bestiality. The Aladdin one's all right. You know. Where it says sex. That's Lion King. Aladdin is a take off your clothes. Oh, I thought they were both Aladdin. Quick take off your clothes. Yeah, I heard that was quick take off and go. They always like retro, like Disney puts out something like, oh, no, no, you misunderstood. 
Yeah. But also let's change it. <laughs> I would have any new releases. Been happy if Jasmine took off her clothes. That would be um she was she was fine. Yeah, she's my favorite Disney princess. Yeah, same. It's hard to pick. It feels weird. You I it feels like you can't really pick a uh, uh Snow White or Cinderella. They're too old. It's like calling a uh, grandma hot. Yeah, Snow White's not hot. She yeah. does seem kind of like an innocent lame church chick. I mean, <laughs> or something. Don't they all? Like like Sleeping Beauty seems like a no, dude, wild in the sack. She's uh, she wasn't hot to me, but she seemed cool. She seemed nice. She's asleep. <laughs> She's asleep the whole time. No, no, no. Uh, uh, the Beauty and the Beast chick. I mean, oh, and Belle. Yeah, not my type, but she's cute. Whatever. Yeah, Belle's cute. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go through them all. <laughs> who's after that? Uh, who's the f- um, who was it in Jungle Book? Pocahontas. Jungle Baloo. Book was Baloo. <laughs> all right, that's my number one. Baloo does seem like he fucks real good. Oh, you're into bears. <laughs> yes, I am. Or King Louie, actually. I would have gone for King Louie. He oh, would. Yeah, dude. Give you a wild ride. Giving you a massage and a hand job all at once. Doop doop and doop A finger on your lip while he does it all. <laughs> uh, Dumbo. I guess Dumbo's mom. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it, really. Pocahontas. She was hot. Pinocchio. Jiminy, definitely. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Most people would be like, oh, the blue fairy. No, 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 dude. Jiminy. Wait, that's Peter Pan. Blue Fairy is uh, Pinocchio. What do you mean? No, Peter Pan didn't have a. Peter Pan had Tinkerbell. Yeah, who was the Blue Fairy in Poca in Peter Pan in Poca Pinocchio? She was the life-sized fairy instead of a tiny one. What'd she do? Who like appeared and turned her into a real bull or turn brought him to life? I guess that's all she did, and then she left. <laughs> Wait, Jiminy Cricket didn't do that? No, she told... Well, in the Disney movie, she told Jiminy to be his conscience. Uh, That's who gave him the idea. And I guess he could already talk. I guess I haven't what seen that movie. a wacky world. Yeah, that was a wacky world. And um, Geppetto... Um, I don't know. I wonder if Geppetto was fucking... Clearly not. He... <laughs> yeah, I had so much to- time he built a fucking doll that could lie. Yeah, he's just building clocks and woodworking his whole life. He got gray and then decided, you know what? I wish I was a dad. You're right. Now that I'm 70. You're right. I've never had <laughs> sex once, but maybe I can have a son to be as miserable as me. I'll build him. What a sweet guy slash creep. Yeah, I mean, what's he going to teach that kid? How to not get laid your whole life? And <laughs> right. total incel energy from Geppetto, actually, now that we think about it. But we don't know. I guess he didn't, didn't talk about being angry at women for not having sex with him. Yeah, but none of his dolls were female. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so maybe that's even worse. Maybe Pinocchio's like, make me a puppet again! Make me a puppet again! This man's a creep! So we talked about it. IQ. Did you take the SAT to get... I mean, I know you got into college. Yes, I did take the SAT. I did too. That's how I got in, because I had mediocre grades. Yeah. I studied up for the SAT. <laughs> nice. Why did you score on it? 1190, which isn't even that good, I, apparently. I, I mean, it is, but like, but yeah, not for how much I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not a good representation of your intelligence, from what I understand. I got a three. No, um, I got, I think I actually got 1210. Oh. 
Well, so I'm 20 points smarter than you. No, you're not. You just said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, don't even try. Oh, uh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It actually means you're dumber. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it probably just means I, I, you know, you erased on the Scantron once you, when you said female on accident and erased it and wrote male, and I didn't do that. So I got 20 more points than you. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, that's one of the questions? I actually scored terribly on my reading comprehension. I don't know if I would do better now, but I can't. Like, while I'm being timed for a test, I'm supposed to read a paragraph and then answer questions? Yeah, I'm not Oh, the pressure's on. Fuck you, teacher. Yeah, I thought I would do better. I remember that. Did you do good on the spatial or the math stuff? I don't remember. I think I did good on the math. Oh, I think I did bad on the... I know I had problems with the this is to that as that is to the blank. Oh, I nailed that. Really? I'm a genius at that. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know if you could ever use it in life, but... Yeah. I was good at that. I don't know. And I think that's in the math section. Math and logic or something. Oh, really? I think so. I scored... I thought it was more of an annoying words thing. Isn't that not English? Oh, maybe it, it was in the vocabulary section. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the third section. My bad. I don't know. I don't remember it that well. You remember it really well. And I only took mine yeah, like four t- years ago. <laughs> and you, but you didn't study, right? No. Hell, I went to a class. Oh, I did too. I was like, you're way smarter than me because I went to a class and I like pre- I like knew a lot of the questions that they're going to ask, except for the reading comprehension because they change it every year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I definitely went to a class and I think I just, I never, I definitely knew I wasn't going to try as hard as my sister did, you know, or my friends. I had friends who had really good GPAs, who were doing community service, you know, in high school to try and look good on their resume and shit like that. I wasn't doing a lick of that. Me neither. I was like, I'm going to pass. No one's ever going to know my grades ever unless I say it on a podcast. And then... uh, (laughs) No, but yeah, that was kind of my whole strategy in school. I was like, no, I'll just make up for it with the SAT. And I sort of did. Yeah. But I, you know. You got into college? Yeah, I guess. I did. You're right. Was it your number one choice? Or was UT? I guess. No, UT would have been my number one choice. And I got into, I would have had to go to a satellite school first for a year and then go to UT. Looking back, I should have done that, but I didn't want to switch schools. So I went to OU. I, I had a great experience, but UT was a great film school. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, and there was another great film school, but it was too close to my parents, so no way I was going to go there. <laughs> but you could have done you could have done UT, and then you could have hung with Matthew McConaughey. You've been doing this podcast right fucking now with Matthew fucking McConaughey instead of my dumb ass. All right, yeah, all yes. right, all right. Let's read some Ripley's Believe It no, or dude. Not. Yeah, but as time goes on, no, I'd be here with one of Joe Rogan's dumb friends. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> Touche. No offense, everyone in the world. <laughs> like, he's friends with everyone everybody. in the world. <laughs> That's pretty much all, who listens to Joe Rogan's podcast. No, no, no. But uh, I don't hate everyone who's ever associated with him. But yeah, in general, like, ugh. Sure. <laughs> I agree. With that sentiment. So, <clears throat> unless, of course, you were doing a podcast with him, then I would love him. Uh, all right. Shall we battle Royale? Let's do it. Um, yeah. And uh, you go first because you right. won last time. I go first because I won last time. Who's the guy that you always do a podcast with? I can't remember now. Brendan? Walsh. Walsh. See, that's where I'm too slow. I would that would have been so slick and so quick if I was like, yeah, fuck Brendan Walsh, because mm-hmm. he's was on Joe Rogan. <laughs> was he? Yeah, years ago, he was on it a bunch of times. Huh. I know Duncan Trussell was, but I didn't know Brendan was. Anywho, uh, shout out to Brendan. He's a <clears throat> piece of shit, dumb idiot. <laughs> 
All right. So uh, this Heathcliff, I'm bringing again. It's one, two in a row. And um, this one, he's still at it. Heathcliff is standing up on a fence performing with a microphone, kind of like Garfield used to do at night. There's a wall behind him, and it wall it says comedy on it. So it's like he's doing stand-up. Got it. And uh, a kid and the kid's mom, the kid who kind of looks like Dennis the Menace in a lot of them, is watching Heathcliff. And Heathcliff has a flower on its head, like a big daisy. And his head, his face is like the middle of the flower, right? Okay. And so he's just kind of standing like, like smiling with his hand. They're like, hmm? And there's a bunch of little yellow dots on the bottom, uh, below him watching the show, right? Below the fence. And they're all going, ha, 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 ha. And the kid says to his mom, bees love him. All right. He's doing stand up for bees, I guess. Dressed as a flower. And they love his comedy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it was an actual joke that sort of semi Was it an sense. actual? Yeah. Well, I, more than uh, the surf mummy. The surf mummy's back. <laughs> <laughs> that one still gets me. All right, this week I brought in Savage Chickens. Whoa. Each little uh, panel panel is, it, every scenario is just chickens talking to each other, like people. Uh-huh. All right, so there's one panel. They're in a uh, wrestling ring, and these two chickens are wearing, uh, you know, wrestling uniforms and they're, they look mad and they're yelling at each other. And the first one says, I feel no need to fight you. And the other one says, peace friend. And at the bottom it says, if wrestling was a battle of inner strength. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I like that. Uh, I think that wins. Yeah. I think Savage Chicken wins. Savage Chicken. It's actually a joke that makes sense, and it's kind of like, oh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'm not like, fuck you, which I am to most of these comics, honestly, but that one, all right, Savage Chicken's coming through. Wow. Well, we'll just have to see if Savage Chicken's can hold up Next week, if it can come and still be funny and make us go, ha ha, all right. Until then, keep gripping. Keep ripping. And, and keep, keep stripping. stripping.